for the Pucker and going to be 6 Baby Zucker said, Boy, I'm going to be a banging here in the Sportsman class. Still banging as we head there. Grapple going to work there. Oh, five wide for a moment through one and two. Back down to four and three wide. Up and two. What a showing. Head flag man Cody Johnson gives them the sign. We're going green flag racing next time by. Our first day feature of the night of the Rapid Speedway on New Century Press Night Sportsman Class. A feature under green. Up front on row number one, Brian Crone and Marty DeBoer running one and a two. Brandon Jurens in that third spot, but Bill Crone will take him on the outside in the 14 2.0. Bill Crone with a bullet moving into that third spot. Jurens will settle into fourth with P.J. Stoner rounding out your top five for the time being. Brian Crone, Marty DeBoer, Bill Crone, Brandon Jurens, and P.J. Stoner, and here comes Roger DeBoer. Roger DeBoer in the number 50 machine working to the inside of P.J. Stoner for that fifth spot on the race surface heading off into turn number three as Bill Crone will set his sets on Marty DeBoer. Bill Crone working to the inside of Marty DeBoer. Brian Crone, your race leader. Bill Crone to the inside of DeBoer a little too squarely in that 14 2.0. Gets her back under control, but DeBoer will hang on to the second spot. Meanwhile, Roger DeBoer is still challenging for that fifth position to the inside of P.J. Stoner as Bill Crone bends the 14 2.0 to the bottom of Marty DeBoer. Still too strong in the 50M. Marty DeBoer looking for a good run tonight in that 50M after she hit the wall last night at the Rock County Speedway. Looking for a good finish after spending all day fixing that 50M machine, getting it ready for tonight. She's currently running in second. Brian Crone, your race leader. Marty DeBoer, Bill Crone. Brandon Jurens and P.J. Stoner still holding on to that fifth spot. Stoner being hounded by Roger DeBoer for the fifth position as Bill Crone continues to work on Marty DeBoer for the second spot. Bill Crone sliding up the track. Marty DeBoer holding on to that second position at halfway. Brian Crone is your race leader. Brian Crone with the race lead. Marty DeBoer, Bill Crone, Brandon Jurens, P.J. Stoner are top five. Roger DeBoer at sixth spot. Katie Crock. Tyler Bradley, Brandon Booby, Leon Sneller, and Elaine has shown him around out the pack. First day feature of the night, Bill Crone and Marty DeBoer with a little bit of contact, and now Marty and Bill straighten it out. Bill will settle back in behind the board after making the contact in turn number four. Brian Crone, your race leader, setting sail on the rest of the field in that white 14 machine off the top side of turn number four. Marty DeBoer and Bill Crone still battling it out for second, and Marty DeBoer still with that second position. Brandon Jurens running the end fourth, P.J. Stoner in fifth, and he's still dealing with the 50 of Roger DeBoer. Roger DeBoer is still putting up a challenge on P.J. Stoner for that fifth spot. DeBoer will move to the inside off the exit of two, and DeBoer with a run down the back stretch. Roger DeBoer looking for that fifth spot to the inside of P.J. Stoner, and he is there, but Stoner will get him back. Here off the top side of four, down the front stretch, DeBoer still with the fifth position. Roger DeBoer now in the top five in that green number 50 machine. P.J. Stoner looking to get him on the outside, down the back stretch. White flag is out for Brian Crone, your race leader. Marty DeBoer is still holding on. Bill Crone for the second spot on the field. Brandon Jurens with a solid race going, finishing, or uh, not finishing, but running for it. Roger DeBoer, your top five. Your A feature winner coming off of turn number four in the 14 machine. It is Brian Crone. Brian Crone taking it home tonight in the 14 machine. Marty DeBoer holding off Bill Crone for that second spot. Bill will finish third. Fourth position to Brandon Jurens. A solid run for the 19 machine as he hung out by himself. 
in that fourth spot. And Roger DeBoer with a well-earned top five here tonight. Your Sportsman A feature going flag to flag here tonight. Presented by Lem's Auto Recyclers. Well, thank you, Jay Kelly. We're down here in Pizza Ranch, Victory Lane. Brian Crone making his way over to us. Brian, you got the lucky draw here tonight. You start on the pole position. You got up on top and set her in cruise control. Your car was pretty smooth all the way around that racetrack. Yeah, this car usually is pretty good. Um, you know, it, it's not always who's got the biggest motor. Um, it's not always set up. You got to be able to drive what you got. And I think we got a good team here. So, Well, you talk about your team. Uh, you can't get here without that team. Tell us about some of the sponsors you got on that car. Uh, we got Rapid Graphics, um, we got Winkle Express, Tangles, uh, Cooperative Energy, uh, Roger, Ventol Repair, the Flower Box out of George, uh, JSE Farms. Uh, that's what's sticking in my head right now. I, I'd have to look at it again. Well, we got to put you on the spot every once in a while, so we'll put you on the spot. Victory Lane, you got a trophy. Whose birthday did you win for, your dad or your wife? Both. That's cheating. But we'll take it. Make your way over to Victory Lane, get your trophy. Brian Crone, your A feature winner. Having some trouble getting lined up here. It looks like we like the lineup now. Dylan Fitzpatrick doing double duty tonight. Hobby stock and stock car. He's going to be starting on the pole for the Hobbies here tonight. Outside of row number one, Levi Vanderweide. Looking forward to a great one here. Sebas McGraphics, USRA Hobby Stocks. We're going green at tonight's A feature. Right out the chute, it's a cluster of cars through one and two, and everybody settled down the back stretch. Dylan Fitzpatrick leading Levi Vanderweide. Dustin Galbranson looking to the inside of Aaron Stetnix for third. Brock Adams, Marty Alyssa, Dylan Fitzpatrick all together. And we got Scotty Young pulling back onto the track on turn number four. Actually, Scotty's going to come to a stop and bring us under caution. Scotty DeYoung off the track in turn number four will bring us the caution. Scotty Tuhati bringing the caution flag out. Tons of contact in the back of the raceway there in the battle coming through. A rapid Speedway pace vehicle pulls to the infield. Dylan Fitzpatrick, your race leader. As we go back, green flag racing, USRA Hobby Stocks, presented by Sebas McGraphics and Sanborn. Right front tire change complete on Tommy Croc. He'll jump into the back of this thing. Dylan Fitzpatrick, your race leader. Levi Vanderweide into second. Dustin Gulbranson working on Vanderweide for that second spot. Dawson DeBoer up to fourth position. And it's a three-car battle for the fifth spot in the running order. Aaron Stetnick's holding on to it for the time being. Tyler Schlumbaum slicing and dicing through the field. He's going to split the difference between Stetnick's and Nick Jansen. And Schlumbaum makes his way into fifth. We've got a car off the track in turns one and two, slowing off at the top side of two, and the caution will come out once again as Marty Huliska gets some air going off of turn number four. He's down on all four wheels. A caution comes for James Adams going off of turn two. Marty Huliska going off of four after the caution came out. Marty Huliska jumping out of his race car in a hurry there. Out of that 23 car, he uh, dukes a hazard it off of three and four. He's going to get that coffee mug and subscription. They happen to have a banner out here on the front stretch, too. They it's do. Odd. USRA Hobby Stock A feature. We're going back. Green flag race at Dylan Fitzpatrick, your race leader. Good work. We've got 
to turn number one, and we're going three wide for the race lead. Dylan Fitzpatrick off of two, your race leader. Dustin Galbranson and Levi Vander Whiting neck and neck, side by side with Dawson DeBoer keeping up as well. Your top four, Fitzpatrick, Vander Whiting, Galbranson, DeBoer, and Nick Jansen now your top five. Tyler Schlumbum running in that sixth spot. Aaron Stetnix, Trevor Kroc, Bryant Clawson as Brady Clawson is off the track on the back stretch. Dylan Fitzpatrick, your race leader. Brady Clawson off the top of turn number three. Well, looks like he's going to stop at 35K. Well, now he's pulling back to the top side, but with the rest of the field coming, we'll bring the caution out for Brady Clawson. Brady Clawson in the 35K. Flat tire on the 35K, bringing the caution out. He'll make his way down to that Lyon County Chiropractic Adjustment Area. Single file on the restart. Dylan Fitzpatrick, Levi Vanderweide, Dustin Galbranson, Dawson DeBoer, Nick Jansen, your top five. As we come to the green flag, green is back out for your Hobby Stock A feature. Dustin Galbranson working his way to the inside, looking for that race lead. Fitzpatrick still too strong on the high side in that one T machine. Dylan Fitzpatrick holding on with Dustin Galbranson, Levi Vanderweide putting up a challenge. Dawson DeBoer, Nick Jansen, and now Tyler Schlumbum. Three wide coming off of four. And Aaron Stednix, the one who had the top. Rob Cock and Stednix were all running side by side. Somebody had the lift. And Stednix is going to pull in and retire from the feature. Halfway this time around, Dylan Fitzpatrick, your race leader, Dustin Bell Branson, Levi Vanderweide, Dawson DeBoer, Nick Jansen, Tyler Schlumbach. The six cars in the front separate themselves from the second half of the pack. Tyler Schlumbach working on Nick Jansen for fifth spot as Gull Branson sets his sights on the lead. Fitzpatrick and Gull Branson coming off of four. Dustin Gull Branson the push from Levi Vanderweide, your race leader. Dylan Fitzpatrick looking to take him back on the high side in turn number two. Great racing action up front here in our USRA Hobby Stock A feature. Go Branson, Fitzpatrick, Vanderweide, Dawson DeBoer, and Tyler Schlumbum. Your top five with Nick Jansen in six spot. Go Branson, Fitzpatrick, Vanderweide. Go Branson has to slow to the bottom of the track. Holding up Vanderweide, who wanted to take a run to the inside on Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick will take the lead back. Schlumbum is off the track in turn number three. Dylan Fitzpatrick, the race leader once again. Go Branson, Vanderweide, DeBoer, and Jansen, your top five. And now the caution will come out. Tyler Schlumbum going off of turn number three. Trevor Kroc going around at the bottom of four, but I believe the caution was out before that time. Boy, those front six cars were putting on a show. Tommy Croc, Dylan Vandentop, Bryant Clawson, Brady Clawson, and Scotty Too High as we go green flag racing again. USRA Hobby Stock, a feature. Dylan Fitzpatrick with the race lead. Dustin Galbranson, Levi Vanderweide, your top three. Dawson DeBoer in fourth spot. Nick Jansen rounding out your top five. Two to go. And Dylan Fitzpatrick is your race lead. Fitzpatrick and Galbranson, one and two. Vanderweide trying to keep up in that third spot. But Fitzpatrick and Galbranson separate themselves, looking to make this a two-car show. As we'll be seeing the white flag this time around, Dylan Fitzpatrick, Dustin Galbranson, Levi Vanderweide coming to the white flag. Dawson DeBoer and Nick Jansen running fourth and fifth. Here goes Galbranson looking down low off the exit of two. Fitzpatrick still too strong. As we head off into three, Galbranson with a nice run. Off the exit of three, it's Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick coming off of four. They're going to be side by side. It's Dylan Fitzpatrick bringing it home tonight in the one team. That, my friends, was a great show. Dylan Fitzpatrick and Dustin Galbranson.
Putting on a fantastic hobby stock A feature. Levi Vanderweide kept the pressure on as well. Dawson DeBoer, Nick Jansen. What a show we had there. USRA Hobby Stock A feature presented by Seba's McGraphics of Sanborn. Dylan Fitzpatrick going to make his way down to Pizza Ranch Victory Lane. Dylan Fitzpatrick, it's been a long time, but welcome back to Pizza Ranch Victory Lane here at Rapid Speedway. Woo! Man! We were just sitting in the garage Wednesday night, and me and Brian Johnson owns this car, and we were just talking. Car hasn't been out a year. And, yeah, it's I 90 Nationals one. Let's bring it out, Rocky, and give her a little test run. I cannot believe I just held off the six. Holy crap. Well, not only did you hold him off out there, he actually passed you a little bit through that race, but you weren't deterred. You fought right back the next lap and retook the lead. Yeah, I kind of got a gift. Dustin made a mistake that he never, ever makes, and so I'm, I'm glad tonight was the night he made his mistake, but man, I'm just pumped. It's been a long time. Well, we don't see in a hobby stock very often, and uh, I'm guessing the rest of the hobby stock field is lucky. <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess the track was pretty fast on the top. Starting spot helped a lot. We just hit our marks, and that's all it wrote. Well, well, congratulations. We'll let you get to victory lane. Enjoy the celebration. Thanks, buddy. Dylan Fitzpatrick, your hobby stock A feature winner.